What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we want to talk about the top three reasons not to go to Sturgis. So it's that time of year, a lot of people a lot of people we know are out of Sturgis right now. Mm -hmm. We're not. And, uh, we're not. And uh, we just thought it'd be interesting to uh, talk about the three reasons we think you shouldn't go to Sturgis. In no particular order, we'll start with number one. It's just too damn expensive. You want to stay in a hotel room? 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. A night. You want to get a burger? 20 bucks. You want to get a turkey leg? What are those, like 40 bucks? 25 bucks. That's a lot for a turkey leg. It's still a turkey leg. It's just a crazy amount of money. Everywhere you go, you're dropping money. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So Gas prices these days, just to get out there, you're spending a small fortune. And what a lot of people don't know about the town of Sturgis is Sturgis' economy and depends upon this rally. It's, it's their biggest income. Absolutely. So what does the town of Sturgis do during the rally? It's pretty clever. It's genius ups the sales tax. Jacks their sales tax up to like 10% we hear. Genius. I think it's genius. However, it's too expensive. So, unless you're rich and you don't care about throwing your money away, it's just too expensive. That's it. What Number you, two. What's next? Number two is there's just too damn many people there. There are a lot of people there. Too many crowds. Yeah, there's not enough people there. But depending on who you talk to, it's a slow year, and there's uh, mm -hmm. there's no one here. It was much bigger last year. That's what we got a lot of that, right? Always, it was always much bigger last year. It's always going to be much bigger next year. You but, don't, you don't, you can't enjoy all the scenic <laughs> rides because there's just so many bikes on the road. So that's a thing. Um, there are a lot of beautiful rides out there, and people go out there with very little riding experience, some of them. Newbies. And they get on these roads that are serious roads, some of them. Um, you know, to the point that the town of Sturgis does put out a chart, a map, that ranks their roads by color. Yeah. Um, the difficulty. So people do get in over their head. Um, people die every year. Un un unfortunately, people do get hurt every year. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Um, people this year, there, I know that there was a rider who happened to be okay, but went down on uh, on needles. So, and when you're on these roads that are switchbacks, steep inclines, somebody goes down, the road stops, and you're stuck. It gets so slow. You're trying to do, you know, hairpin switchback turns and stuff at, at like two miles an hour. First gear, working the clutch, trying not to fall over. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. So it's terrible. It's a lot of people. If you don't like crowds. Don't go to Sturgis. Mm -hmm. Or go downtown Main Street because there's not enough people there. Always. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and and last, it's uh, it's just become a big corporate affair. It's totally lost that rally feeling. So started as the Pappy Hoyle rally. Way back when, I way, way, the days. way, way, way back. Um, grassroots rally, old school kind of motorcycle rally. It is, um, it is, it is not that. There's no boobies anymore. Well, there may be, but not on Main Street. Cops everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's all about the vendors mm -hmm. and their high-priced little gadgets that they're selling and T-shirts and hats. Stop signs everywhere. Yeah, you gotta put your feet down. They must have a warehouse somewhere in South Dakota where they keep stop signs just for service. Yeah, maybe they ship them in with all the extra police that come from out of town. They, they could do that. Maybe know. each cop travels his own stop sign Ooh. into the city. Have you thought about that? That could be a thing. Mm -hmm. could, but there's like, it's just, it's not the party that it used to be. Mm. You know, it's dead downtown, cops are everywhere. People may argue it. They might. They may argue They'd it. be wrong. So, yeah, it's just uh, it's lost that loving feeling. It's not what it used to be. 
Finally. Back when, you know, back when I was a youngster. Back when I was a youngster. I was going back in the olden days. It was a lot more fun. It was wild. Um, Finally, yeah. we're from the Northeast, and not for nothing. I mean, the West Coast thinks they have good IPAs, and, and maybe, maybe they do. But we are from the Northeast, and as far as I'm concerned, we are in the mecca of some of the best craft beer in the country here. Right. There's uh, there's no good beer in Sturgis. Mm. This was our runner-up. This was a, a honorable mention. Yeah. We had to mention the beer. We're baggers and brewers. Yeah. Um, the brewery that's in town. Mm. Yeah. I'm not even sure that they brew any of those beers, but what I had was not good at all. It was terrible. And, and listen, I mean, just because you're from someplace like Nebraska and you go there and you think the beer is good does not mean the beer is good. It's just better than what you have. So, but you got to drive, you know, miles and miles and miles way out of t- town to some random brewery to get any kind of beer at all. Yeah. You know, you can't buy anything good in the stores in town. It's all light beers and commercial box beers. Yeah. It's, it's no, not good for a beer lover, man. No point, no. So, if you like beer, don't go to Sturgis. So, I'm not going. I don't know that I'll go back because it's just not what it used to be and there's no good beer. And a lot of crowds, and I don't like crowds. So, if you don't like crowds or spending a lot of money or drinking bad beer, I don't think you should go either. Yeah. Um, so, that's our video for today. Take, Top three reasons. Take it from us. Take it from us. We've been there once. Mm-hmm. And we know all about it. All right. So, if you don't like Sturgis, tell us why you don't like Sturgis in the comments. If you do like Sturgis, I don't understand. Tell us why in the comments. But uh, either way, we'll see you next week. All right, so if you've made it this far in the video, you, you know we wish we were well, there. Well, A, th- thanks for watching. <laughs> we appreciate you making it this far. And B, clearly we wish we were there. Oh, my God. Clearly this was made in jest <laughs> and just for fun because, well, we're mad that we're not there this year, so we just wanted to pick fun at the people that were there oh man I'm but uh Sturgis is amazing guys we love Sturgis we go every year if we could yeah uh these were just some of the things that you know uh, we've all heard people complain about and uh kind of think it's funny but yeah. uh just wanted to kind of poke fun at it so go to Sturgis have go, a good laugh have a good laugh have a good time in Sturgis spend the money whatever it is what it is have a good time and hopefully we'll see you there. And no, I look forward to reading the comments of the people who did not make it this far. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you next Catch time. Catch you in the next one.